I don't expect anyone to back down. 15 seeds historically pull that upset and then not much else afterwards. Although Oral Roberts advanced to the Sweet 16 in last year's tournament, 2 and 7 all time in the round of 32. That's where St. Peter's finds itself against a Murray State team that got a ton of respect, and rightfully so, with all of those wins. You heard Matt McMahon, who's a big hot coaching commodity right now. So, too, will be Shaheen Holloway. So, what, what do the Peacocks need to do if they're going to pull another one and go to the Sweet 16? Shoot 51%, go 9 of 17 from Virginia, 18 of 21 free throws. You know, one of the things about, about St. Peter's, they, they were 260th in adjusted offensive efficiency in the country, 260th. And, and that is not a good number. <laughs> they're down there low in, in two-point field goal percentage. But they played great against Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Now, did Kentucky add to that? Probably a little bit. You don't have that kind of upset if the big shot plays the way they're supposed to. But I don't know if you know this about peacocks. Peacocks are incredibly loud and <laughs> disruptive birds. <laughs> I grew up in Rolling Hills, California. There are peacocks, peacocks all over the place. And they make a lot of noise. So I wouldn't be surprised to see St. Peter's do it again. Wait a minute. He's no always, tell, he's always telling me how <laughs> the, about, the mean, about the mean Eagles? streets and the, the tough streets of Rolling Hills. Right. Like peacocks there. That seems, right. that seems like a, a good thing. Just because there's a lot of violence in the area doesn't mean we don't have <laughs> right? yeah, People deciding which, which you know, fine restaurant to go to. Uh, <laughs> what do they need to do to win? Continue to be themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, look, St. Peter's is an elite defensive team. Like, they struggle offensively, but they're an elite defense. Team. They force 20 turn, uh, 20 percent of the possessions to force a turnover. They run you off the three. They put pressure on the basketball, force you to run your offense a step further out. They create offense out of their defense. And more importantly, St. Peter's, Murray State, uh, Richmond, these teams have won a bunch of games. They expect to win. They've won a championship their conference tournament. They they're coming not to be an opponent, mm -hmm. right? They're coming to win a game. They got a chance to get to the Sweet 16. There will be no back down. There'll be almost arrogance in this game by mm -hmm. St. Pete. They're going to go out and they're going to do what they do. They're going to stick to their identity. And St. Peter's can't turn it over, Seth. You can't give Murray State easy points in transition. you got to make them play in the half court and force them to execute. The issue with that is they're one of the worst turnover teams in the, in the yeah, country. Yeah, 20%. And you're talking about a Murray State team that turns teams over 21% of their possessions. That's third in their conference. And so they got to take really good care of the basketball, and they've got to decide how they're going to play K.J. Williams inside. And if St. Peter's wins, though, it would be an upset because Murray yeah. State is yes. really good. Very yeah. good. Well, they're going to play K.J. Williams by pressuring the ball. Agreed. They pressure the ball and put it out, push, mm -hmm. push the ball out a step further. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, KJ Williams gets off his spot. I agree. Yep. Murray State, the Racers, nine point favorite. That's a fairly sizable number. That's a big, I mean, big number. I know it's 15 seeded, but it wouldn't be. It shows the respect that Murray has from what it's been able to accomplish this year. That's Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN. Plus.